In this video, we're going to be going over how to get that magic green padlock on your website that Google recommends that you have. Um, they are starting to penalize you if you actually do not have an SSL installed on your site, uh, which is not great for SEO. And you just want to make sure that you're secure for your clients and for yourself. Um, basically, they're saying any anything that has a form on the website needs to have an SSL. And since WordPress has that login form that everyone uses to get into the back end, you have to have that SSL on your site. Uh, it's not just for e-commerce sites and it's not just for sites that have payments going through it. You should always have an SSL on your site. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to do so. Now, this is going to be a very specific way of doing things because right now I have all of my sites through Cloudways. And if you're interested in their services, I'll go ahead and link, a, uh, link their website in the description below. But basically, I've gone ahead and once you've got your site on your Cloudways server, all you have to do is navigate to the SSL and all you have to do is just paste in the, the domain name that you want to have the SSL installed on without the HTTP or, the, or anything like that. Uh, and I also go ahead and add an, another domain name. So I just do the www dot in front of it so that I can have it on both. They do have a wildcard option now that you can use, which, adds, uh, which requires a little bit of an update for your DNS, but we're not gonna get into that today. So I've gone ahead and I've installed this and I hit save changes and I got a little prompt at the top Top right hand corner saying you are good to go so right now we are on the back end of our website and if you go to the front end of our website we see that not secure right here at the top and then we don't see any padlock or anything like that now recently google chrome has gone through an update um, version 69 i believe and so they've changed a little bit of the way that the url looks so this is what it looks like without a padlock and without an ssl installed so let's go ahead and dive right into getting this going. So there's a couple different ways that we can go about doing this. What we're going to need to do is we're going to navigate over to our settings and go under general. From there, it's going to load up and you're going to see that we have the domain names right here, the WordPress URL and the site address URL. We're going to go ahead and need to just add an S right in here. Now for some uh, hosting providers like GoDaddy and a few others, you're not able to change this domain name. So basically what GoDaddy has is once you install the SSL on the site, you're going to skip this part. You don't have to do this for, for most GoDaddy um, servers, but for my server, I'm going to go ahead and I need to add the S. So once I do that, I just got to go down and hit save changes. And it's going to log me out and I need to sign back in. So let's go ahead and log back in. And you're gonna see this green padlock at the top right here. Now this doesn't mean that we're done because we have to go through the site and change all of the URLs, which sounds like a tedious task, but trust me, there are tools out there that can help us do this. So if we go to the front end of our site and hit refresh, you notice that we don't have a padlock, but we don't have the H, we, we don't have the not secure. This means that we are on an HTTPS that you see, but this isn't a true HTTPS because there are still some URLs on this page that are not using the SSL. So there's no S after the HTTP. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and find and replace all of these URLs. Now, there's a couple different ways of doing this. Uh, there's a preferred way and there's an easier free way. You can go to the plugins, click add new, and you're going to search for a plugin called better search replace. All right, from there, you can go ahead and click install now. Once this is installed, go ahead and activate. From the tools menu, you're going to go ahead and click on better search replace. And then you're going to go ahead and this is where you're going to do your search and replace. So basically we want to copy over the URL. Okay. Right here and here. Now we want to make sure that the first URL does not have the S in it and there's no trailing marks. So we don't want a forward slash. We don't want anything after that. We just want a, a plain domain name. The second one, we wanna go ahead and add that S after the HTTP. Again, no trailing marks or anything like that. No forward slash, we don't want any of that. 
Now, these are all of your tables inside of your database. So we wanna go through every single one of these. So we're gonna click on one and then shift click down to the bottom. It also tells you how you can do it down here, shift click or control click. And then we wanna make sure that we click all of these and do that. So we wanna make sure we have all of those selected. Now we want to leave the case sensitive and the GUIDs, we wanna leave those unchecked. And then we have this run as dry run. We wanna check this because we don't wanna make the changes just yet. We wanna do like a practice run before we do this because once you do this, this can mess up your site and a, and a click of a button. So it's always great to make sure that you have a backup of your website before you do this. So let's go ahead and we're gonna run the search and replace, but remember we're doing it as a dry run. So let's go ahead and click that. And then it basically it's just processing all of your tables down here. Now, if you have an e-commerce site with WooCommerce installed, this may take a little bit longer and it's gonna have more tables just because Woo has more tables than normal. So look, now we have our dry run results. We have 28 tables that were searched, four data entries need to be updated and zero changes were made. So let's go ahead and uncheck this and let's run the search in place. So again, it's doing the processing tables. So we're gonna go ahead and just let that process through and it's going to run through all of the tables. And then once this is complete, we're gonna get the green mark up here. It's gonna say during the replace, 28 were searched, four cells changed within four updates. Sometimes it says four cells changed in different updates. Sometimes, sometimes these are different numbers, but just make sure that the amount of cells that you saw before were changed up here. So let's go back to the front end of the website and we're going to refresh this site. Now you see that we still do have some missing HTTPS. And if you're wondering how am I supposed to know what images or or anything that's, what am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know that which ones aren't? There is a site called, um, where's my padlock? Oh, no, I'm sorry, whynopadlock.com. And if you visit this site and paste your URL in, make sure that you're not a robot, and go ahead and click test page, it will go ahead and search your page for all of the different um, media elements that are not SSL. So let's go ahead and scroll down and we see that we have a few down here that are not, uh, that were, you know, they're not SSL. So there's HTTP instead of HTTPS. So a lot of these are SVGs. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna go ahead and use a different tool. Now I like Better Search Replace for a few things. It does a great job at, at updating this, but it doesn't always catch everything for some reason. So what I like to use is I like to use Updraft Plus. Now this allows us to go into their advanced tools, go into their search and replace database, and we can go ahead and paste in the URL here, just like we did before, get rid of that S, on the first one, make sure we have the S on the second one, and then we don't have any trailing slashes or anything like that. Just keep in mind that we don't want anything after that. We're going to leave everything else blank. Now this does not have a dry run, so as soon as you hit go, this does change all of the URLs that you're asking up here in the search for a replace with. So definitely make sure you back up your site before hitting this go button. So let's go ahead, click it. And then of course a prompt, just making sure you wanna do that. Let's click okay. So we see a bunch of different things down here, but basically all we need to look at is the tables examined was 28, which matches what we saw earlier, the rows examined, and then the number of changes that were made were 30. So we still have 30 more URLs that still needed to be changed. So let's return back to the dashboard go back to the front end of our website and click update. And there is that magic padlock that we were looking for. So we can click on that. We see that our connection is secure. We have a valid certificate. And if we go into the URL right here, we still see the HTTPS. Now it's a great idea to go ahead and navigate to other pages of your site to make sure that you still have that padlock so that you can go ahead and just navigate to a few others and you'll see that the padlock is still there. So we have this green padlock right here. 
I'm sorry, it's not green, but it used to be green with the old Chrome. So if you are still using the old Chrome version, you'll see the green padlock up here now. But with the new version, you just get that padlock right there. So you see that you have a padlock on the dashboard and a padlock on the front end of the website, which is what you want for all of your sites. Like I said before, this is not something that you just need if you have an e-commerce site or if you're taking payments. This is something that you need to have on all of your websites. It'll help you boost your rankings with Google and also I mean nobody wants to visit a site where it says not secure at the top it's easy to get SSLs for free you don't always have to pay for them depending on your host you get them for free like I said before with Cloudways you get you get an SSL for free with all of your domains and all of your applications that you install on the server so you don't have to worry about any additional cost or anything like that I hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like and a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe if you have not done so yet. And be sure to turn on the notifications by clicking that bell icon next to subscribe. And we will see you guys next time.